Ok, donc aujourd'hui je suis ici à San Diego avec Roller Gracie, donc une légende du jujitsu. Thank you very much, Roller, for this interview for GlobalMMA.com. It's always my pleasure to be with you guys. Thank you so much. So, Roller, you are a big legend in this sport. In jujitsu, you are the son of Elio Gracie. You are a coral belt. It's amazing to have you for this interview. You won the World Championships, you won the ADCC, you won the Pan Ams. And now you have something special in March, that, that's right? Yeah, we actually have a kind of rematch with uh, Mr. Eddie Bravo. It's going to be March 29. It's going to be a big event. It's a nice event, you know. Um, I don't try to be a champion anymore, but they knock at my door and bring me back. That's how it works. And then I'm ready. So you already fought uh, Eddie Bravo in 2003 at ADCC. What happened during, uh, during this fight? Yeah, that is in Brazil, 2003. And, uh, well, it was back then, nobody knows Eddie Bravo, you know. It's kind of, it's, it's funny to say that, but uh, everybody watch Hoyler, and they know Hoyler game, and they pay attention to Hoyler game, but uh, don't know about the guys, the, the new guys, you know, they come up. And that's like, probably that's my mistake, you know, because I don't pay attention too much, and I pay the price. And that's all about, you know, and then we try to have another match and see, making sure it's going to clear what we make a mistake in the past, you know. What happened during the fight uh, with Eddie? It was, uh, he was in a, a rubber guard and uh, he choked you out with the triangle? No, 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 rubber guard, it's guard, it's a normal, normal guard, yeah, it's kind of jiu-jitsu, you know. Uh, people sometimes make a confuse about, oh, he's this, is that. It's everything he do is a jiu-jitsu, you know, I'm very familiar. It's the mistake, I think I make a mistake. And then I pay the price. He, of course, he have a very uh, good ability and he's very flexible. Uh, but uh, the ones make a mistake, I, might, I think, is myself. And then um, I pay the price, you know, mm -hmm. that's how it works. So um, after this, uh, this victory of uh, Eddie in 2003, he lost, he lost two, the two other fighters of LACC and then he, start, he stopped to compete. But you, 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 you continued to, to compete, but uh, in MMA? Well, actually, um, after my fight, he fought one more time with Leo Vieira and he got, you know, he lost. And then he's supposed to fight for the third and fourth place. And the same event, and he said, no, I'm not going to come back. I, I win Hoyler, I win my tournament. And then they call me and bring me back to the tournament. And then I come in and compete for the third and fourth place with uh, Alessandro Soca. You know, and then I, I took a third place. And, and, and the, the event, I lost, I was coming back and got the third place. And he don't got nothing, you know, and nobody knows this, you know. Yeah, he's supposed to be in the third and fourth place, yeah, hey, but he don't like to lose again, you know, he's kind of, whatever, yeah. And then after that, I still compete, and then, it's not only compete, I just actually, my whole family involved in, in jiu-jitsu and training, and then I pretty much use the gi all day long, and that's the only thing we do, you know. I pretty much put the gi in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, all day, teach training, teach a seminars, you know, and talking about the position, I used to say, you know, uh, I take a breakfast, lunch, and dinner with jiu-jitsu. And sometimes between the meals, I still talking about jiu-jitsu. And that's, uh, I think, is kind of lifestyle we have. How do you prepare for, for this fight at Metamoris? Well, it's kind of pretty much the same way I do last time, you know. It's kind of cardio, you know, lift weight a little bit. It's a lot of jiu-jitsu. And, of course, now I just kind of know who Zeddy Bravo is. He's kind of a flexible guy with the weird things. And then I try to pay a little more attention, you know. And the fight is going to be 20 minutes. 20 minutes is a long time. If you not be prepared, if you don't have a plane, you're going to, like, you swim, swim, and then you die in the beach, you know. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Besides preparing for this fight, your teaching, do you used to come in Europe to teach sometimes? Not, not before the fight, no. I don't teach before the fight and then I just kind of draw for myself. Just my preparation is actually one month for the fight, you know, a month and a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the idea only focus on the fight. Yeah. Do you think it will be your last one? Well, it's, um, I do my last one is MMA uh, 2011 in Brazil with a Japanese guy, I lost by the decision. It's kind of a good fight, I really like the fight. And this one is kind of a jiu-jitsu fight, I'm very familiar, it's, that's my main thing, you know. Uh, it's gonna be without the gi, 
and I don't know it's gonna be the last fight I, I hope so you know I don't ask for the fight I don't like like I said I don't like to be a champion again the guys in my my class they really good and then I don't like to compare myself with myself with nobody I just like to be a hoiler that's it what are your advice for people who train who start jiu-jitsu who try to be better at jiu-jitsu you know like advanced what's your advice is Well, first of all, is double check the academy training and make sure the academy is kind of nice academy and they give you everything you want. Uh, the teachers need to be very nice with you and, and this besides the technique. Um, make sure you don't hurt yourself, you don't hurt your partner and enjoy, you know, that that's the, the first thing. Enjoy having a good time and that's the best way to learn. Thank you very much, Rolo, for this interview. My pleasure, always. And we wish you uh, the best uh, for this uh, beautiful uh, match uh, at Metamoris. Okay, I, I wish you guys, I'm gonna do my best, and then you guys can watch. It's a Metamorph 2004. See you guys. Thank you.